Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Back with you with a very small MAC Cosmetics haul. I um, wanted to get a couple of items from the Philip Treacy release. I don't know, MAC seem to do more and more um, very short releases. I knew this one was coming, but as usual, I get an email saying it's gone up on the website and I literally go on and already... Um, <laughs> several of the items are sold out and uh, I think this is a release that in London is only at um, Selfridges and Harvey Nichols at least that was what I told when I was told when I um, went into my kind of local store um, which didn't have it so um, to cut a long story short I ordered sight unseen a couple of items one of the items that I was interested in, which was a very brightly coloured turquoise fluid line, was already sold out on the website, as was one of the lipsticks. I knew I wanted to get one of the two powders. Um, these are called highlight powders, which seems a kind of hybrid. Um, they looked packaged and the same size as the mineralized skin finishes, which... I like, although I don't really need any more of. I have Soft and Gentle, which I think is really nice. Um, but, you know, I've got loads of it to use. And I've bought various other ones over the years in special limited editions and just sold them on because I haven't used them, although they're perfectly good. Um, this one, I'm I'm just a fan of Philip Treacy's um, work with hats, um, his work with Alexander McQueen, uh, when McQueen was still alive and I just really liked the pattern when I saw these advertised. Um, unfortunately, straight after I'd ordered this, I read um, Sarah's review on Sarah Bowtime and I'll link that below because she'd managed to get hold of one um, and wasn't terribly impressed and I have to agree really with what she says. Um, it's a bit of a bizarre product. I've only used it once um, and already, I mean, I should have photographed it before I used it. The uh, silver overlay on these, um, this beautiful pattern has already um, lifted off with one swipe with a soft brush. Um, and obviously I've applied it to my face. It's quite glittery, but I think that's primarily the silver overlay that had transferred, and that's not going to last more than um, one more brush, really. So what you're left with is this powder. Um, the one I got was called Nude Pink. I can't remember what the other one was called, but it was a more champagne colour, or that was how it was described. Um, you know, this is... I'm not sure what this is really. It's not a highlight. Um, when you swatch this part, i.e. without the silver overlay, you just get this um, peachy pink um, soft powder. That's showing in my um, monitor as kind of more goldeny. It's definitely a more peach um, tone in reality. And although it looks quite dense there, I'm quite pale, when you apply it... Um, you really can see the most slight coloration, um, you know, when you've really applied, packed on. Um, it doesn't kind of glisten in any way like a highlight. So in terms of it being a highlight powder, um, it's not really very effective. As a finishing powder, I guess it's just giving that slightly peachy look, but Honestly, I mean, it'll be interesting for me to apply it when the silvers come off because it, it is a bit glittery, not terribly, in the application I've made to my face. But I, once that's gone, I can't imagine it's going to be very noticeable on at all. So, you know, if you're not a fan of a collector, really, of the, the limited collections, I can't say I'd recommend this product. It is, I just really like the um, engraving and the embossing. It is really, really pretty. But honestly, I think this was about £22. Um, that's a lot of money for something um, that you're not going to use. But just look at the pretty engraving, um, especially from MAC. So much as I love Philip Treacy, um, for, sorry, but that one's a bit of a fail. Um, and then I got one of the lipsticks, which, 
again, I've only worn, uh, well, I've put it on twice, but I've only worn today. Um, this is called, let me get my glasses on, get it right, uh, Hollywood Cerise. Um, and there's no, although it's part of this collection and it's limited edition, there's no special packaging, which is a bit disappointing. So, you know, nothing to indicate it's part of the tree seed collection. Um, it is, however, a really pretty colour. It's this one here. Take no notice of that. That's Mac Plumful, which uh, I had bizarrely thought was going to be similar, but isn't similar at all. Um, you can see this is um, kind of um, bluey pink um i like it uh it's very brightening on the lips it's a satin it applies quite matte on the lips but um the plus of it being a satin is it doesn't feel quite as drying if you've got dry or older um lips like me um reasonable staying power um you can see kind of when you rub it this often indicates how it will stay. Um, you're still getting quite a stain on the lips. So even when the finish is compromised by eating and drinking, um, you definitely still have a pink stain on the lips. So um, if you like MAC lipsticks and you're looking for, uh, you know, bright blue toned pink, uh, this is nice. Uh, I do like MAC lipsticks. Goodness knows I've got a drawer full of them. I didn't need another one, but it is nice. But a bit disappointing given it's part of that collection that it isn't any special packaging. I do think MAC are kind of, um, you know, being, what's the word, uh, being a bit naughty really. They just pull out these endless um, limited edition collections but most of them really are just kind of glorified repromotes of products or fairly random and there's nothing that special about them but still we get drawn in um I'm worse than that because I got drawn into buying a couple of the refills. Um, I do have a couple of MAC palettes that I've made up over the years and I love their eyeshadows. You know, I do think they're good value. Um, they're actually great on the more unusual colours if that's what you're into, but I'm not. Um, if I show you my main MAC palette that I've made up over the years, um, you will see that... Um, I decided I'd got probably too many shimmery Macs, which I do love, but I keep reading these articles and seeing um, vids on YouTube by people teaching us how to do our makeup, which say it's a really bad idea not to wear matte eyeshadow if you're older and have got hooded eyes. And I've got naturally hooded eyes that aren't improving as I've got older. So to cut a long story short, I concluded I needed some more matte colours and I went for these two, um, this one, let's do with this one first um, before I show you my horrible mistake. This is Quarry, which I saw recommended by various people as a good one to get. And it is indeed a matte, quite a cool toned taupe, I would have said. Um, when I looked what I got, I mean, it's sufficiently different to copper plate, which is probably the closest that I have. Um, and here it is swatched. It's that one there. Um, but when I took it out, I thought, oh, my goodness, this looks very close to a shadow that I was actually wearing today, coincidentally, from Chanel, which is this one, which is hazard and in the pan i think they look pretty similar um it's fair to say here is hazard um and it's slightly less kind of plummy um and slightly less pigmented so um not a huge difference in them i've got them there as well there's um the mac one and there's the chanel one um do I need two so close together? Probably not, but there we go. Um, don't worry, I have got another partially empty palette that this one is going into. And then I really boobed because I also ordered, um, because I saw loads of people saying it was a really good one to have as a matte transition colour, this one, which is Wedge, uh, without checking in my palette where it turns out uh, I've already got it. 
and it, you can see it's not very heavily used so I now have two wedges um, fortunately these are only £10 so it's not the biggest mistake in the world but I think what I've learned from this is I um, I need to actually go into the Mac stores rather than ordering online and take my palette with me and um, fill in um, some appropriate colours rather than these random orders. Um, however, that's my little mini Mac haul. Uh, not all that positive, although I'm quite pleased with the lipstick and I've uh, been wearing it today. And I hope to have some more exciting purchases very, very soon when the summer collections hit. Until then, bye for now.